that's when you still got to be thinking, okay, now I know you're really committing to this. He also wants to keep an eye out to see, does Cicada throw down an expansion? And so far, no expansion. There's actually going to be a Bailing Nest. So this is a very all-in move from Cicada. True is going to have some time. He can try to hold on with some of these drones for a little bit. He wants to keep this hatchery alive, get up a queen. But after that, these drones cannot really get involved in the fight after the Bailing start morphing in. Yeah, and Cicada microing very hard here with his Zerglings. The Bailing Nest is almost done. Spinecrawler on the way. That's a big, big, big target right now. And look at this, getting some Ling on Ling action. He knows he has the Whoa. numbers advantage, so he's forcing the drones to come off. But you know what? By thinning out that Ling count with the Baneling Nest completing, he's going to take his weaklings, mm -hmm. no pun intended, and uh, I think try to get a few Banes. If he wow. stacks that down, there's big potential here. True getting really aggressive with these Lings. He does not have Ling speed on the way, and now we're going to see Cicada about to finish his up. So either True knows his timing is exceptionally well, or he's playing a little bit with fire, but here comes that first Baneling. Two Queens now out. That spine crawler finishes up with full hit points as well. So, so no. far, this is looking good for True. But this, this comes back to what you were talking Whoa! about. Very hard Whoa! to deal with this when you have so many Lings without speed. And he comes in, he's going to get the detonation maybe between the Queens, try to smack down the spine. Spine crawler, more lings are flooding through, gets the larva and oh. damages the spine. His lings is gonna surround it and pick that off. Cicada then busts the other one on, uh, gets I think a few of the drones there. And now yep. it's just lings versus drones. Keep in mind, True is not even researching speed. He does not have a bane ling nest. He's just slow oh. lings versus ling bane. Okay. Cicada isn't going to go into the Mavis house. For a moment, he started going after that natural expansion hatchery. The queens are about to pop out, but True is losing more and more workers. They can afford to be down maybe one or two, but even that becomes pretty difficult. And now he's down three whole workers. That is a fourth of his economy right now. And yeah. even with the bailings added in, this becomes so difficult for True. Yeah, I mean, I think the key here is you just get another, you flood out another wave of lings and you make sure Whoa. that you can't block that ramp. You want to get on top with Banelings, get a, get a good extra account of Banelings. There's no real effective way to deal with Banelings like this because there's no Ling speed. Mm -hmm. um, gets us around on that other queen, wow. but not gonna be able to pick it off. Like it really does revolve around the Banelings. It's all in the Banes right now. Yep, Transfuse is actually gonna be available on that queen. If True can find an, oh my God, he's moving out on the map with slow Lings, Nate. I, this is, Again, a ballsy maneuver right now when your opponent has Banelings and also their own Speedlings that True, they're still getting aggressive in with. In my mind, True realizes how dead he should be. And he's like, well, this is kind of crazy, but maybe it'll work. <laughs> like, he's getting damage on Lings that are crossing over. But Cicada's not building Banelings at home. And if you really think about oh. it, Cicada has less buildings. So even if they base trade... He does have a Baneling oh at home, God. and it's going to get a pretty good hit. It gets a decent hit. Still unnerving to see it happen like a this, lot though. of queens here for True. I cannot believe that he actually is holding on to this hatchery right now. And his lings are getting damaged. And are you kidding I me? Love, True, this I is... I NA Starcraft. This so is much. absurd. This should... And now Cicada is here on hold position. This is all well and good. The queen is eventually going to start killing stuff off, but... He's not actually mining right now. <laughs> He's fallen down to about as many workers as true. He's less. <sighs> <laughs> oh, NA Starcraft is amazing. GG. True. Takes the game. I don't even I don't even know where to begin with that one. That one's that was so glorious. That was probably some of the best few minutes of my life. <laughs> Can I go home? You wanna cast the rest of this one by yourself? Oh, dude, Kyle. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not going anywhere, man. This is, this is true NA StarCraft right now. He could have just left that last wave of Lings at home, made four Banelings. Yes. And won the game. And you know, the, the other funny thing is, I want to note this. The Overlord saw the slow yes. Lings gradually making their way across the map. And then he let a wave of Speedlings run through them to the other side of the map. Oh. That was certainly interesting to see. I'm upset. I am I, upset. So I am bothered by this. I I wanna I wanna defend Cicada a little bit, not so much in his, like his decision making there, but in the sense that this is an important match for him. It is a stressful situation. Mistakes do happen like that, but it's about whether or not you're gonna let those mistakes happen repeatedly during the series in game number two, or if you're gonna be able to turn things around because that game should have been his at that point. I really do think he had that game pretty much almost in the bag. It's like, it's like he doesn't want to advance. He just wanted to show up here, clown around, and then be like, all right, he just wants True's nickname as the clown. <laughs> no, I guess. I, I, 
Well, I really don't want to be too hard on Cicada again. Like it's, it's a it's a stressful situation. situation. When you get ahead versus a player that's better than you, I can definitely see how you get this like, oh my god, it's actually happening, and then you make terrible mistakes because that's happened to me. But those were really but terrible mistakes. Those I were agree. really really big mistakes. Yeah. Well, you, it's slow links. It's not like he only had like five seconds to react. It's like, yeah, the uh, train's coming in five <laughs> minutes. I'm gonna stand right here on the tracks and. We're good. Where, yeah, I, where I do give Cicada credit is the fact that he actually did manage to get ahead in that situation, and he yeah. actually did really well. True Micro that really, really, like, I was really concerned. I was just blown away moments. that True didn't did even try to get, like, a Baneling Nest or it Speed, can, something other than just Slow Lings, which really should not have worked. It can get dicey, but I there are a lot of Zerg players that actually do prefer just skipping, getting any mining of the gas because you get X, as many minerals as possible, and then you can invest in not only the spine crawler, but you also get up a lot of queens. And if you if actually get queens, up enough, I understand. If you block the he ramp. was continuously making queens, and we saw that with the follow-up attack from Cicada, that there were four queens out, he had transfuses available, and he had another spine crawler up. So I, I, there is some defensive logic there, for true, but it does get certainly dicey there. And like one of the big disadvantages is that you aren't supposed to be able to counterattack. Yeah. Uh, with slowlings, that's like the disadvantage. But true is to like, but because it's my disadvantage, he'll never expect it. Except like, minus the overlord spotting it the entire way through. Yeah. <laughs> Acid plants the next map. Okay. Um, can we get this? Can we get this on the way? <laughs> yeah, I was enjoying Cicada sitting there on the color oh. orange, I believe, for a little while. True had him had his race set to Terran. I think they're telling ah. him that he cannot style on his American opponent that hard. Cicada is now laughing in Korean in the chat. Cicada is now speaking Korean in the chat. Um, Although what I heard from someone was that all of the German that Cicada was speaking before was not actually German. That's, I think, what some of the production... Oh, he's posts posting are random characters. Yeah, I, I, I think characters. he's just doing that in, in Korean now. He's just yeah. well, he's, saying he's, random he's, stuff. He's posting half half uh, syllables, so it's not there's nothing legible there. Okay. Well, eventually... Except for the, the laughing sound. Like, that That sounds like you just spam. You just hold, one, <laughs> you hold Z, I guess, on the keyboard. It yeah. would be... This is actually really great. So I guess we have, we have like six people telling True to go Zerg because you know it's actually against the rules. You cannot switch. Well, no, I don't think True go meant ahead. to. I don't think True's trying to switch race. You know yeah, what happened? Yeah. True totally has. It. Okay, so if you guys alt tab a lot, if you when the game starts, it actually pulls you back into the game. So True probably like joined the lobby. He's like, I'm ready, and then alt tabbed and was waiting for the game mm. to just open. That's how a lot of people have bugs at the start of games because that that actually can derp your game. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just going to assume that he was probably like changing a song that he had on. Yeah, playing some Maybe he wanted to hear our analysis of the end of that game. You know, because he's we just really, waiting for the stream delay to catch up. We really crunched the numbers on that one. <laughs> we did. We did crunch the numbers on that Zergling movement speed. Yeah, uh, I had we a, determined that it was in fact still slow. Yeah, the uh, the production guys were curious why there was a second audio feed going into my ear uh, in control. I have him on call to crunch numbers for me while I'm commentating, even though he's not here. Ah. He is omnipresent while we are casting. Always on the job. He's always on the job. In the top left of the map, the red Zerg player. How he lost the game, I don't know. He is Cicada. And there's more of that wonderful fake German. Let's find down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have our blue Zerg player, the Korean living in America. He is true. Sitting up one and zero. And this game, not going to be going with any of the early pools from either side, it looks like. No, looks like Sakai is going to try to play a somewhat normal game. Um, but for how long, Nate? But for how long? I don't know. Maybe he hopes true all ins him, and he's the one that survives this time. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a bad thing to hope for, I guess. If you can get your opponent down four drones in the first three minutes of the map, and they're not building workers because you've put so much pressure on them, and you you drop that lead, I've, I've lost my faith. Um, <laughs> I've lost my faith in my boy Cicada. So <laughs> it happens. It's it's one game of StarCraft. Unfortunately, this is best of three. So one game of StarCraft is half the series in, in a way. As but prestigious of a tournament as WCS Challenger, there's so much on the line. It's such an important match for him. And he made it he made it into Challenger last season. And his matches were better than we saw today. So that's the only reason I say that is because he actually played some pretty decent games in the last uh, in his last Challenger group. But yeah. 
Today, he had a very rough go of it. Um, and it's, yeah, I mean, I don't, I can't think of what he's gonna do that's gonna be better than what True can do, which makes this very difficult, because what I would have said was cheese, which he did, and then he won the game, but then he lost somehow after winning the game, which was just What I will there. say is that one of the weaknesses and part of the reason why True sometimes looks a little silly is because I actually don't think he does nearly as well in those very straight up games or the, the games where it's like yeah. two armies macker up and then collide or even not not even macker up to a massive degree like a 200 200 army even when it gets to mid game armies and it's just one kind of singular engagement true i don't think does as well in those games he is the player that does really well in super chaotic situations where he's like look you may have killed 15 of my drones but what if i send 70 lings over to your third when you're not looking. And it's like, yeah. and then I send a bunch over to your natural at the same time. It's like, oh, okay, well, true. I don't know what's actually going on right now. Uh, those are the games he wins. Yeah, really weird. Really weird, uh, that last map. I'm still kind of shook by that. <laughs> Cicada's got two links poking at True's third base. And True has two links of his own. He's like, I want to do some fancy micro. But, out micro. Oh, wow. Out microed. Look at that. And it's actually just barely luck, I think, of who attacks first with their Zergling. That was perfect. Well, that's not always true. It's. In a in melee situation. I know it's not always true. Sometimes true yeah. does lose this lane. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I've heard For units deck. like that, that's like the people always think that it's the first Reaper that shoots in TVT <laughs> that wins, but it's not this, always the case. Good shot. Good sniping. That's gone really far. This has went a lot further than I'm used to seeing true queens go. True's queens are the, that really like upbeat guy that you know where it's like this guy's just always working out those queens they <laughs> go for really long walks they're doing weight training off yeah. of they're the people that you don't want to share your like fitness data with because it's like oh yeah i walked a thousand steps it's like this queen walked twenty five thousand steps and it's 4 p.m it's like what what are you <laughs> doing all day it's like well yeah that's that's kind of life i live i'm true Okay, uh, True's going for the lair now. We have Cicada getting his Roach Warren. No lair from him, so to speak. Yeah. True did not spot out that Roach Warren, by the way, which is not a massive deal. It's not the end of the world, but uh, he is also kind of infamous for going for and really loving that Ling uh, Bling Muta style that you occasionally see from Zerg players. I think it's become a little bit more popular since last year when he kind of, uh, I guess, started doing this out of nowhere, but that he does queen. find a lot of success with it. That, that queen, queen is after his third overlord, by the way. Just never stops. Good Bane hit by Cicada there. Actually, yep. cleans up a, quite a few of those links. And by the way, Cicada's going for like a Roach Ling Bane all in is what it feels like. He's got a ton of Roaches yeah. coming out. And uh, yeah, I think it's for like 15 or 16 total is what it's going to end up being. Is he's going to shove it. It's going to probably just follow it with a Ling Flood and then Bane Lings to clear Lings off of his Roaches. Yeah. So Cicada's winding up for a real big attack. We got a bunch of Spine Crawlers coming in for True now. If Cicada can make this push without too much delay, there is some potential. But if there's one thing that True is good at, it's building lots of Zerglings. Yeah, and True is relying on Zerglings, but the problem is these aren't going to be upgraded Zerglings, Nate. They're not going to be holding off until a Spire finishes up or something. This is actually just Zlings and spine crawlers, And he has to clean up all the Roaches, and then he can finally get his transition out. I like that he's trying to intercept a bunch of the Roaches, try and take them on in smaller numbers, but he also needs to be able to defend not only his natural, but potentially his third base as well. Now the Roaches are going to move in, and the Lings are here. The rest of them are all kind of on the other side. I like this, actually. Moving Whoa. himself behind that mineral line, the Spine Crawlers are going to have to reposition themselves. The drones are coming off the line for True to fight against Cicada's Roaches, and this might be the, the best place that he could have found purchase. He's morphing the weakened Roaches oh. into Ravagers to oh, try and extend fire. the life of the units that he has here. There's oh. at least one of them is going to be able to finish up, and that gets dangerous if you can get a good Cross of Bile, but that Ravager will die. He killed 12 drones. Cicada is droning behind this, adding Lings, and uh, oh my god, True has so many Zerglings going across the map right now. Uh, he is going to put pedal to the metal to try and punish his opponent for what he's done. Yeah, getting up a couple of Banelings, a lot of Banelings as well, but if he waits a little bit too long, then the Roaches will start popping out. There's only three on the way right now, but it's primarily just Lings and Banelings for Cicada as well, so True still has an opportunity to get some damage done. He's killing off a few of the drones that Cicada made, but Cicada still has a massive worker advantage, and he's got his Banelings out now. Yeah. Uh, there's so many Bane Links here for True. Spreading them out a little bit, not letting himself get traded, the 2-2 deal. 
Uh, but there's really not a lot here to protect us. That third base is DED. There's not really any roaches, so it's just lings. And I'm wondering if True's gonna try to. No, okay. True's just changed his up. mind. He's like, I'm gonna get my spire and just kill you with mutalisks. Now that I got your third, I'm happy. Not much else you're going to be able to do here, young buck. After seeing no roaches for such a long time, though, Sagana's got to be expecting that this was the intended follow-up. I don't know if he's going to be expecting that this is still the follow-up here, but surely Cicada's going to be thinking about it, right? Yeah, maybe. The spine crawlers definitely would say it, um, just because, like, well, I'm not getting my own roaches. Roach speed is on the way for Cicada. The only thing that was really good out of that was that, like, the drone count, right? Like, he had a decent thing going there for a little while after that, all that damage to True. But True has so much on the map, and there's just so many Zerglings dancing around him. Whoa. Like, concerned. Yeah, if you walk into that, that you are, Look at that, just sitting individual one by one. Oh, Those I love Those Banelings are on attack move. Two of them blew up for nothing. Yep. Almost gets another Baneling over there, but he's just buying himself a lot of time and preventing Cicada from easily moving across the map while that Spire finishes up. The Spire is about to finish, and as soon as it does, uh, he can start up at least four Mutas right now. Uh, he's been making a lot of Banelings, so he doesn't have quite as much gas as I'm sure he would have originally wanted. No, I think the Mutas are what's gonna, that's... Oh, like, this counterattack. Normally, you get the Mutas and you build a bunch of Spines because you're worried about a counter, but True doesn't have to worry about a counter. He's the one doing the counter while he goes Mutas because he just has so much. He's just so far ahead in this bloody game. More Mutalists are coming out. More spawn Crawlers are being made. He's running the drones away. He's like, eh, okay, you want to push that? That's fine. The Mutas will be out to deal with you. Yep, the tech is some not reinforcements there. too and is gonna be able to at least delay some of those roaches. And now finally the Banelings come moving forward, but True kills off a good chunk of them with his own Banelings. The spine crawlers focus down the remaining ones. The roaches get taken out by a combination of yeah, the Queens. He's got Transfuse. Transfuse for those spine crawlers, a really big play, Ravi, and Lings are still on these drones in the natural. He's gonna pick off a few more. And this, this hurts so much because you have to think of it, think about it. What is he going to do? He has start a Hydra Den, Spores? Nah, forget about it. True, takes the 2-0, advances out of this group in second place. Nobody's surprised. Yeah, uh, pretty solid gameplay there from True. He had some really good micro, especially the Ling Bane Ling uh, situations. I do feel like Zagata got in like precariously good positions in that, both of those that games. Mineral line. Behind that mineral line was really good. It got a little weird because he wasn't attacking from the front anymore. The reinforcements weren't there. You pointed this out. True did a great job of intercepting those reinforcements. Have a few more roaches and all those Lings show up and he gets Bane Lings with that when the yep. drones get pulled. Suddenly we're looking at a different game, but that's where True's experience comes in. That's why True is a GSL code-esque competitor, <laughs> because he's just that good. Well, Cicada had a good showing, but unfortunately he does get knocked out of WCS Challenger, and we kind of finalize our day of North America with this. Uh, True advancing out in that final match, and of course we saw Puck advance out in yeah. the other match. I th the two favorites in the group make it out. Not a massive surprise, but we still saw some good games from Future as well as Cicada. For now, Future and Cicada will be relegated to the likes of uh, Yamcha, you know, and uh, maybe we'll see <laughs> Well, that was season. kind of... Maybe they'll get a better percentage. arc. Maybe they'll get a better arc later on. They'll get a better pose than just like the dead Yamcha in the crater. I, I, did, I wasn't giving any visuals, okay? This could have been an episode one before anything bad really oh, okay, happened. Okay, yeah, you know, when Yamcha was actually still a respectable fighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's close it out. We're, we're, All right. I'm done. Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed it, we also had the European broadcast before North America. That was actually also a lot of fun. Uh, we had Cyril and Namchar advance out yesterday. We yep. also had, of course, Snoot and Mana, our Liquid Boys, advancing yeah. out of Europe today. And yesterday we also had, I believe it was, uh, some pretty fun games as well with Masa. Yep, Masa and, and Zeal. Zeal was the surprise yesterday, yesterday, yesterday coming through. And then, of course, today, Puck and True. Puck and true indeed. Uh, now, we don't have a broadcast for WCS Challenger tomorrow, as you guys saw this kind of schedule. You guys can have your Friday to yourselves. Yeah, you can actually go watch Nate's stream, maybe. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'll be that... building battle cruisers all day, so. There I'm you sorry. go. That sounds like a good time. Uh, so check out Nate's stream tomorrow, and we will be back with more WCS Challenger the day after that on Saturday and Sunday for Group C and Group D. Take care, guys.